Welcome to JAG TV. I'm Allie Blevins. And I'm Blake Miller. Starting off our broadcast is a story that's invaluable to a lot of our students here at South. Donald Kelly finds out why and how college booths are set up here in the Commons. Representatives all around the area have been coming to South to meet with students. Ms. Kennedy explains why. I'm here to talk about the college reps that visit our um, Commons on a weekly basis. Um, they are here to visit with students prospective students who uh, might have questions about their college. Wednesday, March 9th, Maryvale College will be here at South as well as Midwest Pool. Friday, March 11th, Emporia State will be at school too. Um, college reps like to schedule visits so they can have access to students. They want to recruit for their schools. So that's just another way of them having student contact. This is a good opportunity that people at South are able to take advantage of. I'm Donald Kelly with Jack TV. Thank you, Donald. Make sure you talk to the counselors if you have any questions. This weekend, the robotics team is heading to the Kansas City Regional Competition. Andrew Arbeau has the details. Our district's robotics team have been hard at work building a robot for this year's KC Regional Competition. Last year, the 1785 RoboCats had their greatest season of all by winning first in the Kansas City Regional and then went off to take part in the world competition in St. Louis. At the KC Regional Competition, there's usually about 60 teams. Uh, there's robots being pushed around everywhere. There's kids running around. The stands are always full. A lot of yelling, a lot of screaming. It's always hectic. This year's game is called Stronghold and said by many to be the most complex game so far. Each alliance has a tower on each side of the field guarded by various defenses in which a robot needs to get through, pick up a foam ball, and shoot it into the tower in order to both drop the tower's health and score points for your team. The robot this year is built a lot smaller than last year's robot. This year's robot is only about 12 inches high off the ground and it's built with tank treads so it can maneuver across all of the different defenses. Um, the robot has an arm on the front of it that can maneuver about 270 degrees forward, downwards, upwards, uh, anywhere we want it to go in order to pick up a boulder and launch it across the field. The RoboCats will be competing this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so wish them luck to hopefully make it again this year to the World's Competition. From JAG TV, I'm Andrew Arbo. Back to you, Blake, in the studio. Thanks, Andrew, and good luck to you and the rest of the team. New businesses have been going into downtown Blue Springs recently, including a new cupcake shop. Kate Grigsby has a story on Simply Frosted. Here in downtown Blue Springs, many stores and restaurants are opening, one especially for your sweet tooth. That is Simply Frosted. We have more space now, so we've expanded to truffles, pies, dog treats. Um, we have also expanded to cinnamon rolls. So we've definitely had a lot more space to try new and exciting things. Um, also, we have more walk-in clientele downtown. We have uh, flavors of the week, and then we have cookies of the month. And we also have been trying to do a signature item each month, like a pie flavor or cinnamon rolls, something like that. Are locally owned and locally managed, so I like to invite people to come in and check us out, because why buy cupcakes from strangers when you can shop local? As you can see, they have everything you need here at Simply Frosted. Make sure to give them a like on Facebook, a follow on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Kate Grigsby for JAG TV. Thanks, Kate. That definitely has me hungry. Same here. I need to check it out. When we come back, Tristan Harris tells us about the upcoming Mr. Jaguar shirts on sale. And Mackenzie PV gives us some weekly reminders, all when we return. Hey, what do you think that sign says? Eat more ch. What is ch? Well, it's the start of a word. Something like eat more cheese. Or eat more chili. Chocolate. Eat more chocolate. No, no, it's chowder. Chimichangas. Cheesecake. Chewing gum. It could be chewing gum. That's not how you spell chicken. I'm pretty sure. Half lemonade, half ice cream. New frosted lemonade starting at 240 calories.
I love, uh, it's a clean environment and it's a place that I feel uh, very comfortable taking my kids. It's a very comfortable place to take your family and friends. Um, I just, I love the prices, I love that they always have movies that I like to see, and I just, <laughs> I love everything, it's great. Mr. Jaguar premiering this month, the buzz has been high to see what the senior boys bring to the theme of tuxes and tractors. Tristan Harris has the information on the shirts that are being sold in the commons. This Thursday is Mr. Jaguar, and all this week, tickets and t-shirts will be on sale. Well, uh, we're selling t-shirts and tickets for Mr. Jaguar. Um, shirts are $8 as well as tickets, or you can buy both for $15. Mr. Jaguar is going really great. We actually have a lot of guys doing it this year. The theme is tuxes and tractors. We've been working our tails off, coming every Sunday and Tuesday for rehearsals. And I think it's going to be a great night. March 10th. So pick up your tickets and your t-shirts, and I'll see you there. I'm Tristan Harris, JAG TV. Thank you, Tristan. Now here's Mackenzie with reminders. Thanks, Allie. It's a busy week at our school. Tomorrow, Tuesday, March 8th, is Accent on Academics. Also, on Wednesday, March 9th, there will be a grad night meeting from 7 to 8 p.m. This meeting will be held in the library. And lastly, this Thursday is Mr. Jaguar at 7 p.m. Hope to see you all there. I'm Mackenzie Peavy for JAG TV. Back to Allie and Blake in the studio. Thanks, Mackenzie. As you all know, prom is coming up in two months on April 23rd from 8 to 11 p.m. Like last year, the dance will be held at Airhead Stadium, and the theme this year is a masquerade ball. Now, all masks must be handheld on a stick and not cover more than one-third of the face and must be school appropriate. Also, make sure to send your prom puzzle pictures to at BSS Prom Puzzle 16. Up next, Olivia Ledford has sports, and Bethany Rogers asks students in the cafeteria about our presidential candidates for this year's upcoming election. All when we come back. There's no better place than Lunar Bowl for kids' birthday parties. Lunar Bowl offers a kids' birthday party package for as low as $124.95 for a party of six, which includes two hours of bowling, one topping pizza, or a hot dog and chips, an arcade card, ice cream, soda, and much more. Lunar Bowl can also customize birthday events for adults. Lunar Bowl, located at 2001 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs. To book your party, call 816-220-7722. I come to Culver's for the very respectable customers and the fantastic food, and it's always clean and inviting. I come to Culver's because the food's always good, it's always hot, and you get fast service. So come on into Culver's and see why we're the talk of Blue Springs. Welcome back. March Madness has begun here at South with the, both the boys and girls basketball teams advancing to the district finals. The boys beat Rockbridge High School 51-48 last Thursday to take the title of district champs. The girls fell to Hickman High School 45-49, which ends their season, but with a winning record of 17-10. As for the boys, they will continue to defend their state title in the sectionals beginning this Wednesday night against Waynesville. Spring sports tryouts started last week. Baseball, boys tennis, boys golf, and track and field are all in action right now, and their seasons will begin very shortly, and we will keep you posted on their progress. That's all for JAG TV Sports. I'm Olivia Ledford. Back to you, Allie. Thanks, Olivia. Presidential campaigns have been in close competition this year, and just last week, our own Bethany Rogers surveyed the cafeteria to find out what students have in mind about the candidates. It's an election year, so we asked our fellow Jaguars some political questions to see how much knowledge they had on the subjects. Hey, can you tell me Jeb Bush's real first name? Jebra. No, it's not Jebra. Can you tell me what Jeb Bush, his real name is? No. Uh, Jabrina. It's Jebra. Jebra. It's not Jebra. It's John. His initials are J-E-B, so he goes by Jeb. Who is the current Vice President of the United States of America? <laughs> Biden. Can you tell me who the current
current vice president of the United Joe States. Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. Joe Biden, yes. Anyone tell me which president of the United States is from Missouri? I forgot. Uh, I don't know. Cleveland? Which president of the United States was originally from Missouri? Uh, Harry S. Truman. Yeah! Can you name at least two candidates from each political party currently running for president? Marco Rubio, um, Trump, Hillary, Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump? Yep, that's that's a Republican and a Democrat. Can you give me uh, one more Republican and one more Democrat? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Democrat, there's Clinton, and then there's Sanders, and then Republican, there's Trump, and what's another one? Donald Trump uh, and uh, what? Somebody else. Uh, Hillary Clinton and Bernie yeah. Sanders. Okay, and for the Republicans? Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush is not in the race anymore. Donald Trump. There's Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, and the rest of them have dropped out. more about these candidates you can go online to their individual websites or you can join the school's Young Democrats or Young Republicans Club for more information. Thanks Bethany, this will definitely be an interesting election year. That's all for JAG TV. I'm Allie Blevins. And I'm Blake Miller. Have a great rest of your week.